Hey guys, Captain Goodnight here again. Thought I'd play some Final Fight for the Super NES. This is Final Fight Guy. Um, what they did is they released this game right pretty quick when the uh, Super NES came out, which is this is a port of a of a arcade game, uh, which I played a lot of and saw a lot of at pizza joints. But, so they released Final Fight, which didn't have Guy, it has this other guy, Cody. And this one gives you Guy, but no Cody. So they couldn't just give you all three characters. They both have Hagar. I'm going to start with him, because I kind of like his moves. Um, Capcom game. He reminds me of Zangief a little bit. Um... There we go. So this is just, you know, a beat em up, kind of like a double dragon. I mean, pretty much everybody knows about this game. I felt like uh, playing it a little bit because I have this on uh, Game Boy Advance. It was a pretty good version of, of this. I think it's a better version than this one even. Maybe, maybe not. The, I mean, they got all three characters in the Game Boy one, so... I don't know. They did that one all right, but Final Fight is 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 they they put this out on on every system. Every system had this basically. I even think uh, the NES has a Final Fight where they're, you know, cartoony or small with big heads or something. I could be wrong. I could be thinking of something else. So, I apologize for that. Oh man. Should apologize for having my ass kicked. Alright, so moving on. So this is like, you know, any kind of beat em up, but I don't know, this one felt felt really good. You get weapons and and uh I don't know. There's a lot of different character models I guess. I think that was another thing I liked about it. I think the moves work out all right. Um, it's fun to play. I mean, I still like going back to it and playing through it a little bit. Like, it's not something you can spend all day on, which I definitely tried doing when I was younger. Um, but it's fun to go go uh, back to and play, you know, in in little spurts. So this, yeah, what I've heard, I heard the Sega CD version is the best home console version of this game. Um, I haven't played that one, but I heard the music is really good in it, and that it's just really an excellent port. Alright, moving on here, get to this, get the first guy. So I'm messing up. I want to do that. What is my problem? I like to I like to headbutt them twice and then jump with them. I don't know why I keep dropping them. There, just like that. And this game isn't very easy, actually. Um, I think they give you a limited amount of continues. Like, three continues, maybe? So it's not real easy to beat this game. Um, I did beat it, but it took some time, you know. Um, there are different strategy strategies you can apply to, um, or figure out, you know. But sometimes you just get your butt whipped. But it does seem to be there. It does seem to be a way to kind of get around certain things, like uh, certain attacks in some boss battles. Like this guy, I mean, he's the first boss, so they always give you a sort of easy guy to fight. Oh, bat right in the back. I also don't know. See, since I 
picked this guy. Um, I might have to reset the game if I want to play the other character. And there's no two-player mode, which is messed up because this was a two-player game in the arcades. Original, you know. And this version, Final Fight Guy, this came out quite a bit later. Um, where they could have easily just put in multiplayer, put in uh, all three characters. You know, I don't know how they got away with this. But, you know, Final Fight's a popular, popular title. You know, it's well known. It's fun to play. It holds up pretty well. And actually, I just heard the other day that there, there's a new... Oh, they're going to put this on Xbox 360 and uh, PSN. Um, not not necessarily a remake, which I thought would have been a better idea. Like uh, what they did with the Street Fighter Turbo. Um, I think, or Turbo. Yeah, I know, it's Super Street Fighter Turbo. Um, what they do with that, I think they should have done with this. That would have been a better idea, but... Instead, they're just bringing you the, the arcade version, which is kind of cleaned up a little bit. I mean, it's just whatever they did to the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for Xbox and 360 and PSN. Also, they're doing with, with this, and uh, I think it's a two games in one, double bundle, Magic Sword or something. Maybe they're separate. I don't, I don't know yet, I mean, because they're not... I think they're coming out soon, but I don't know when. But, so, anyway. This would give you a good idea if you want to buy that. It's going to be a better version than this one. But it's going to be basically this. This is going to be basically what you're buying. So, I thought, you, I thought I'd give you a heads up. I might even do the other one that uh, they're doing I'll give you a heads up of what that one's like because I'm doubting yeah they might put out a demo for it Capcom's pretty good they're a real good company um, yeah I, I really dig what they what they put together for the most part at least get some pizza for life come on yeah, see, so there's a, there's tons of different character models. Like, you know, this this is a good game. I don't know. If you're into Double Dragon, into, uh, what the hell, Streets of Rage, I think, for Genesis, you know, you're going to have some fun with this. I mean, I don't know. See, this, this type of game for me has gotten pretty old. kind of tired of it. It just doesn't doesn't really work so much anymore but for some reason this one and, and a handful of other ones am I able to come back to for the most part I get real bored of these like I think this one double dragon one maybe I don't know double dragons are, all, are still pretty good I, I like them but uh, anyway you know I, I've showed pretty much all I can for this. Um, I can quickly show what. Well, let's see what happens. Can I pick another guy? All right, I'll just show him off real quick, and then call it good. He doesn't. He's got you know. He's got cool moves, but not worth another sixty bucks to buy the game for. I'll tell you that. I mean, that's the only difference of these two. I see he's got cool combos. See, that's what... If you want to make a good beat em up it's all in the combos. Trust me. If you're a game developer, you know, that's all. That's what it is. It's in the combos. That's what people want out of a beat em up They want to see, you know, more than three frames of animation for your, for your combo attacks, you know? So, whatever. I think that beautiful Joe did did that kind of thing pretty good. I, I played a little bit of it. My son has has one of those for PS2. Barely played it, and then he scratched it up. No, it can't be played. All right, Captain. Good night.
Thanks for watching Final Fight. I'll catch you guys later.